Sure, in just a Before all that, it's time to join Donal in the first of a brand new series of films exploring the stunning coastline of West Wales. And today, he begins his journey in Newport. With spectacular coastlines, breathtaking scenery and plenty of wildlife, Pembrokeshire on the west coast of Wales is one of the UK's hidden gems. Over the next few weeks, I'll be exploring the beaches, walking the coastal paths, and sharing some delicious recipes that will mark the start of summer. Today, I'm exploring the idyllic coastal town of Newport. And just a stone's throw away from where I'm staying is the fabulous Newport Sands, a beautiful beach which stretches right across the bay. And a quick walk across the estuary sees you reach the historic port, which is known as the Parog. Now, you can't come to the beach without a bit of paddling. I just don't think I really have the right gear for this. White chinos and paddling doesn't really mix, but we're, we're going to give it a go. Woo, it's fresh. <laughs> it's a little deeper than I thought. It is cold. It can't feel my feet. <laughs> This is not exactly what I had in mind. The water is no longer able to house anything bigger than small fishing boats, but it's the perfect place to take in the views. I mean, just look at this place. It is absolutely stunning. And after a morning well spent on the beach, I think I'm in the mood for a beer. Next on my stop is Bluestone Brewery. It's been a part of this local community for 10 years. Tell me about the process that we're looking at here. What's happening in this room? So this is actually the brew house that we're standing in. So this is where the magic happens. Our malt goes in here where you get your wort, your sugary water, where your hops are added. It's boiled and you get all your nice colour and flavour. After that process, they're transferred into these big, tall silver vessels. The sugar levels drop and the beer ferments, and then at the end of it, a couple of weeks, you get your beer. I've heard that you are incredibly sustainable in your process, so tell me more about that. Well, we've recently taken the title as leading sustainable brewery in the UK. Everything from using all sustainably sourced products to compost toilets, grass roofs, oh, you name it. You've got it all. We've got it all. <laughs> Well, Amy, we're having a really hard day here in Pembrokeshire. <laughs> let's taste some beers. Yeah. What have you go. got for me? So here we've got a beer called the Green Knight. It is a hemp-infused lager, hemp grown locally in Pembrokeshire. So in theory, I'll be really relaxed after drinking this wow. one. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> It'd be rude not to try it with you. Oh. Oh, that is lovely. Not bad on a sunny day. Absolutely. Cheers. Cheers. How do you say it in Welsh? Yachida. 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 Just have a look at this. The sun is shining. Beautiful views of Newport and the barbecue is lit. And we're going to make some gorgeous carne asada tacos. Simple to do. It levels up your beautiful steak and starts off with some spices. So I've got some cumin, which I'm just going to sprinkle on top here. I love a bit of heat in these tacos, so a nice, generous pinch of chili flakes in here as well. A good glug of olive oil. For some aromatics, we've got a good grating of garlic. We're going in with some fresh herbs, so I've got a combination of both coriander and mint here. A little pinch of sugar, a generous pinch of salt, and then the juice of a lime. Give it a toss and get it completely coated. Now, these tacos are all about colour and flavour, and you're going to get all of that in this beautiful little tomato salsa. I have a lovely selection of tomatoes, which I've chopped up, de-seeded, and you've got that lovely flesh in there. Good selection is what you're looking for. Generous pinch of salt, in alongside that, some nice finely chopped red onion. And to bring it all together, a good squeeze of some lime juice. Little glug of olive oil, and then give it a toss up. So from a tomato salsa to a pineapple salsa, and this one is worth making. And I love the variance of a tomato salsa with the sweetness of this beautiful pineapple salsa. A little oil on your pineapple. I've taken out the core and I've taken off the skin. And all you're gonna do is smash this straight on the grill and get really nice deep char marks. What you're looking for is the contrast between the sweetness and the smokiness of the pineapple. If you like pina colada, getting hot in the rain. It's just something about a bit of pineapple that gets you in the mood, isn't it? The smell of this pineapple is sweet, juicy and smoky. And now all we're going to do is add in some chilli, some red onion, some lime juice and some mint and you've got a salsa to be proud of.
Now it's time for the meat. You're looking for the sizzle and we've got the sizzle. Oh my goodness, the smell is incredible right now. Flames licking the meat, beautiful flavors. This is gonna be good. Look at that, nice char marks. Bit of smoky action. And it only needs a minute or so more on the other side. Leave them to rest for just a minute or two and slice them up and serve. So, to assemble a nice layer of smooth, creamy guacamole, we're gonna hit it with our salsa, we're gonna hit it with our meat. The last little touch of coriander over the top. And a final little sprinkle of salt. And that for me is a proper summer taco with the most incredible view. Cheers. Ugh, I mean, everything about that was lovely. The food, the view, the whole thing, it made you hungry. I'm really hungry. Yeah. Can't wait for John to read. I know, me too, me too.